Right, this is a coping saw. Uh, these are cheap, cheerful sort of things. Very useful for cutting round edges. The trick with these is after you put the blade in, you want to make sure that the pins line up. I don't know if you can see that, that's it. And when you want to cut the other way, you loosen the handle, twiddle the pin, and then you, when you've got it where you want it, you tighten the handle up and sight along the pins. Actually difficult doing this on camera. You sight along to make sure they line up and the blade is nice and straight. Now something that I always do, <laughs> something I sometimes do, is I just give it a little wipe of candle grease that will make it a little, more, little bit more gentle. The blades are very very cheap. If you're doing any serious work you have a big pile of blades because you will break them. Don't be scared of breaking them. What you want to be scared of is cutting the wrong stuff. Don't worry about the blades. Buy loads of them. You will break them. But that's a coping saw handy thing to have in the workshop.